I'm going to show you how to get from zero money all the way up to maximum money. For those that don't know, uh, maximum money is something like 4.2 billion. Uh, this can take some time. Mostly it's the prep work that takes time for this. So just bear that in mind. We'll need to have progressed the story for the entirety of the video. We'll start out with something that everybody can do though, and that is digging up the buried technology modules. Now, these are quite highly sought after in my opinion. They are very valuable to both you and they're worth a lot of money. I feel like there's something we're saying here about you only really want to have about 20 to sell just to get you your first million. They're going to be worth when you see here uh, but they're worth about 50k each uh, 500k each should I say wow I can't get my words out today at about 50k each then they're just going to be really good sell 20 that'll get you your first million bear in mind you will need some to continue the video so you want 20 to sell and you're going to need at least 20 to use in the nexus which is a story part so the next bit does have some minor spoilers as we're going to be heading out into space so that we can summon in a special star station for ourselves. So just in case there are people out there that don't know, once you're in space and after you have encountered the Nexus, uh, this is done just by following the red mission. So just continue doing that and eventually you'll be able to summon in your very own Nexus. It doesn't want to let me uh, summon mine in. It's not a Nexus, it's an anomaly. Come on now, here we go. Find yourself a space and we're going to head on in. So once you're inside the Nexus, and I'm going to kind of keep this long form for here just so that people can see the entire route. We're going to want to head to the uh, to the very back room. Oh, I can't do the melee jump here. That's such a shame. Let me through. How are you managing it? That's not going to work in here if you can't melee. Uh, we're going to want to come to this central machine right here. And what you're going to want to purchase is the medium refiner and the large refiner researchers. We're going to build the maximum we can of both of these um, in a small area. Somebody said to me there's a glitch to get these kind of stacking on top of each other, but um, I haven't looked at that. So yeah, you're gonna wanna buy both of those blueprints so that you can build them at your base. And then we're gonna wanna fast travel back to the base. The game does dictate that you build a base, so you should have one by now. So we're gonna go over to mine, which has been lovingly named, lovingly nicknamed the Money Shed, because that's what we're about to do there. Let's go. Okay then, so as you can see, I already have mine built here. You can build three small refiners, or medium refiners, we call them small, because you can't really mix anything in the actual portable one. Um, and we have the two large ones. Note that, I don't know if it's going to show here, because I don't know if I have the resources on me for another one. It does have like a limit within like a small area. If I were to step outside, eventually you'll be able to build more. So if you want to make like one shed there, maybe have the entrance on this side and then build another. I just realized how badly that looks on the outside there. Uh, if you want to build like another shed here and then put some more inside this bit or whatever it is you want to do with that, you can get extra refiners. So this, these are going to be the main time sink to begin with is, you know, how quickly you can get it all refined. But I find that five is good enough, especially if you've got something else to do in the meantime. Like if you want to build a base while these are cooking, that is going to be a pretty good idea. Next up then, we need to start looking at the kinds of materials we can use to acquire money. And the first thing that we want to go and get is chlorine. What I recommend doing for that is going to your local space station. Not ring up there. We're going to go to our local space station so that we can start pestering the pilots. So mine, for example, is going to be this Rickning hub. So we're going to go up there. And once you're up here, we're just going to stand in the flight path where all of the pilots land, and we're just going to pester them until we can find ourselves the chlorine. Salt also works, so if you happen to see salt, we can also refine that into chlorine, or if you happen to have some on your planet, that's also going to be making things easier. But that's the first thing that we need to find. We don't have any here. I'm going to skip forward. Now, of course, whilst you have money in your account, make sure you do pick up oxygen. That is going to be the next thing that we need anyway, regardless of the chlorine. So uh, I'm going to look around these, see if we can cut to one. Okay, so I didn't quite find chlorine. Instead, we found salt. Um, chlorine will look pretty much the same, but I feel like it's useful that we got this because I can process that back down to chlorine just in case somebody wants to see that. What we'll do now is spend the remainder of your cash on oxygen because that is going to be the next kind of bottleneck because the oxygen is going to keep on turning chlorine into more and more chlorine. Okay, and so once you're kind of happy with your initial setup, so we have here, we have a stack of oxygen, there's a little bit left over, but a stack of oxygen and a little bit of salt. And we're going to go back to our money base, my little money shed. We're going to go, we're going to go and print some money. That's exactly what's about to happen here. And all we need to do is add the salt into any refiner. Doesn't matter, just on its own. And that is going to process itself into chlorine. I'm going to use it in there for now, because that's just going to add to my chlorine amount. But that's really not important. As long as you have some chlorine, you are absolutely fine. Because what's going to happen now is, see, we have 106 chlorine in here. Prepared, prepared this a little bit earlier. And you can turn it back into salt if you want to. But if you put this in with something like 
like, let's say, oxygen. I've got, what, five of these? So let's go with, like, 1,200. All right, so that oxygen there is going to create 636 chlorine altogether. So we're basically going to multiply the chlorine with the oxygen. We can't really see the per unit value very well at the moment. But if you work it out, basically, it works out that the chlorine is, like, something 20 times the value of the oxygen. So we're just going to divide the oxygen amongst the processors here. Like this. Just keep it all going in there nicely. Let's get it kind of nice and evenly divided as much as we can. And as you can see, the limiting factor there was the chlorine and not the oxygen. We can put that straight back in. I'm going to put that straight back in. And take that out and put that in there. And as you can see, we are racking up an absolutely ungodly amount of chlorine. So I'm going to skip forward until we process through all of our oxygen. Okay then, so with that little bit done then, let's just come into our inventory here and look at how much we have. We have two full stacks of chlorine. Now I like to um, keep about a thousand for each of my refiners left over. You don't really need to have that much, but it just makes it easier when you're kind of restarting it all back up again to do it when you need more money. So we'll keep this one. And then we get to sell these for six million a piece. Now, what I recommend doing is selling these to pilots. So being as we are at an airbase right now, we can actually do this right here from, from where we are. Because when you sell it to pilots, it won't crash your local economy. If, for example, I were to sell, let's say, like 10 stacks to the... Um, the galactic terminal over there that will crash um, this particular base's economy um, and it takes a long time for that to recover uh, I've tried all sorts of things like time skipping and stuff to make that recover quickly uh, but it just doesn't seem to work that way so all you need to do um, is come on over to any pilot and I can't find one so because it's convenient for me it could be better for us to go back to the space station because these guys won't resell us the oxygen right so before I go ahead and complete any sales, let me just mention that you're going to want to separate off the chlorine that you want to keep. So I'm going to put one in my starship, and then we'll have this um, 20k here. Hopefully I managed to do that quick enough so we can still talk to this guy. That way, um, what you'll find is when we come in to sell here, so we can offer to trade, we have to press the button to switch between inventory and ship. Obviously because we're too far from the ship, we can't actually sell from the ship right now. We come down here, we can sell, and we can go ahead and take our 12 million. With that done, it's as simple as... Um, going back to the space station so that we can continue the process, creating more chlorine um, and getting more and more money. Now, there is something else that we can do, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to explain that up on the space station. So I'm just going to teleport up there. Okay, and so here we are upstairs getting ready to print more money, right? So all we need to do, all we need to be doing is continuing to buy more oxygen. Now, another thing that we can do, you heard me talking about crashing economies, okay? So something that we can do as more of a one-off, but you can get an extreme amount of cash, is do something very similar, but with the cobalt. So what we're going to do now is we are going to buy a few stacks of cobalt here, um, as well as the oxygen. And as if by magic, you also want to keep your eye out for a small hauler, okay? You could go straight for a big one, um, like a B-class with loads of space in it. Uh, but a small one is just fine to start with, right? Let's take a look at this one in particular. So let's take a look at your ship here, because we can afford it. Um, and we'll be able to fit one, two, three, four... Yeah, quite a few stacks on there, especially when we take the, uh, the technology off and put it in there. So we're actually going to buy this. And what we're going to do in between in between doing the oxygen now, we're going to fill this with cobalt, okay? So we And we can actually pre do that pretty much straight away. So we're going to continue buying um, oxygen and cobalt now from the pilots. Okay then, so I've probably gotten too much cobalt here, but I can show you guys what we need to be doing with what we have. So, we've got, we got 1.2 stacks of oxygen technically right now, right? And we've got one stack of cobalt. So we're going to go back to the money shed and I'm going to show you guys what we're going to start doing next. Okay then, so we are back at the money base. And the way this is going to go is we're going to divide the... Oh, I've already started that processing. Let me turn that off. No, I haven't. <laughs> uh, we're going to divide the oxygen between four of the processors, right? We want oxygen and cobalt to be making ionized cobalt and then when that's made ionized cobalt we're going to put that in on its own to go back into normal cobalt and what you can see here is look um 
two oxygen and two cobalt are going to make five ionized cobalt. So we're already kind of, what's that, 2.5 times the amount, or two times the amount. And then the, oh, we can show this one. And then when we refine that back in, that's also going to go one to two back into normal cobalt. Okay. And what we're going to do with the cobalt is we're going to store that in our hauler until we've completely filled the hauler. Okay. So as we're getting cobalt, we're going to put that in the in the ship's inventory. And you want that to be as full as you can get it before you do anything with that. In addition, whilst that's happening, as I was saying before, uh, we're going to take the chlorine out of our other ship. Now, for those that don't know, if you want to have both of your uh, ships here at the same time, obviously, um, if you're kind of fast traveling, it'll only take one ship <clears throat> back up to the starship with you. All you need to do is press down, come to your summon vehicles here. So this is the one that I've currently got kind of equipped. We come over to our other vehicles. We can go ahead and we can summon other vehicles, including the uh, the crashed one, which is kind of interesting. Um, so we're going to make chlorine in the three small ones, and we're going to make cobalt in the big ones. Okay, so we're going to give that a couple of rounds. Okay then. So once that's processed, your inventory is going to look something like this, right? So we've got our spare chlorine in the ship, so that we don't sell it by accident. We can go ahead and we can sell this, that's going to be worth 12 million. And people are probably looking at the value of this and thinking, oh my god, why are we doing this? Because it's clearly not worth as much as the chlorine, and we are putting um, a considerable amount more effort in there, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to return this stack to in here, because we're going to leave this, we're going to continue working on this, and I'll put the rest into my hauler. Okay, we want this to be as full as we can. Now I'm going to demonstrate why. I have a uh, I have a here's one I prepared earlier. So just to kind of explain here, we have money printing as much as you want, as long as you have oxygen. So let's cut to what happens when you have a hauler full of cobalt. Okay then, so welcome to the honey bus. As you guys can see, this is completely full of cobalt. It actually almost has all of the slots that it has available. It's not even a maxed out bus. Okay, we could make this crazier. Um, now. Fair warning, you can only realistically do this once per uh, once per station. I could probably do it here as well. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to fast travel to a station that I haven't done this to yet. Let's go on in. Now, I, this is my preferred method of bringing this around. I really cannot stand flying them. So I'll often come to somewhere like here. I'll place it down somewhere so that it's my main ship. And I'm just going to fast travel into the station where I want to make my money from. So let's say we want to do it, and I've discovered loads of space stations so I have plenty. Uh, let's say we'll do it here. I don't think I've done it here yet. Let's do it here. So once you've arrived at your victim space station, and it really is kind of victim. I mean, no one out, nobody's actually getting hurt. It's a game, right? Uh, what I recommend doing is clearing out the cobalt from the from the terminal, because when we try to rebuy this in a second, you'll see what I mean. Um, it's going to give you problems when you're trying to restock your ship up. So, now that that's done, what we want to do is we want to come back into the terminal, we want to go to sell, and we want to go into ship. And you can see it's going to give us quite a chunk of cash. Now, when we come back here, we can see that it's down 79.9%. So, we're just going to buy it all back. Okay, so we made around 80% of that 80 million, which is quite a lot. Now, as you can see, it starts kind of having trouble when it gets to the last bit. So if you come into the into the, uh, into the the bus, just move everything out of the way. The thing that it seems to struggle with is it doesn't seem to like stocking up the cargo for us. So we'll just move everything back over. get the last of our cobalt back out of the machine because it doesn't repair itself for quite a long time. Um, I tried all sorts of things. I tried clock resetting. I tried desyncing the account um, and all sorts of stuff. Um, but it just does not seem... Oh, man, I put that into my inventory. Whoops. Does not seem to want to allow us to reset this very quickly. Um, when I looked on Google, this can apparently take um, a couple of months to reset. So just bear that in mind. Oh, and that's why we didn't get all of the cobalt back. Ha! <laughs> right, remember to switch to ship. I must have... 
Has it really, like, actually stacked my... Yeah, it's stacked my character's cargo, but not the ship's one. That's crazy. But anyway, hopefully that explains to you how this works. And uh, you become a very rich... I don't know what you want to call yourself. Spell space person. And as I say, we can do this for every system that you have available. And considering you need to visit something like 60 or 70 systems to get all of your um, inventory unlocked, there's really no reason not to uh, to be very rich. I don't know. I don't quite know how long this would take to reach a billion, but it really shouldn't take you very long. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you very much for putting up with me. Hopefully it was clear enough. Uh, if not, let me know down in the comments. I'll try and reshoot it if it's like horrifically terrible. But I think we got everything in. We went from uh, picking up the research data. We then went and got the refiners. We refined chlorine to get our seed money. And then we moved on to packing a bus full of cobalt. We can now print money on demand when we want to. And if we need a big massive chunk of money, we can use the bus to do that. Thank you all very much.